Change of the appropriation bill in its current form is critical to government securing the ultimate IMF deal. In fact, both the revenue and expenditure measures announced in the budget was a major reason why the country secured an IMF staff level agreement as the mission chief for Ghana, Stephanie Rudy, considered them adequate. Raising revenues and in increasing uh, uh, domestic revenue mobilization is really a key, uh, a key objective of the program, but it's really, really a key objective of the government. Uh, of the government's program. But many people are opposed to the increase in VATs and how it is going to be applied. President of the Association of Ghana Industries, Dr. Aim Dakia, for example, said it was a distortion to growth in the manufacturing sector. But Finance Minister Ken Oforeata, knowing so well the implications of not getting the spending bill passed, yesterday launched an appeal to the people's representatives. We are, therefore, calling on the parliament to favorably consider the fiscal measures in the 2023 budget as an integral part of the package for addressing the economic challenges facing the country and will facilitate the approval of an IMF program by its board. But the minority in parliament has vowed to reject the increase in votes and removal of exemptions on the e-levy. John Jinapo is minority member of the Finance Committee in Parliament. Yes, we we'll work on the appropriation, but we are seeking to isolate these obnoxious taxes, these inimical taxes that will only lead to unemployment. With the House and its Speaker determined to rise tomorrow, time is running out for the government to get the appropriation bill passed. But if recent history is anything to go by, government relying on its numbers could have its way.